Hello everybody, Andrew here from Team Respawn. I'm joined with Slash Storm, also from Team Respawn. It's been 6,000 years since we did a Mythbusters. It really is. So the way that it works is we'll record like a batch of Mythbusters and then, you know, I'll upload them slowly. So we actually haven't recorded a Mythbusters in almost a month. Uh, but we've, we've been spending our time recording You Pick, We Play and doing live streams and things. Anyway, that's not relevant at all. Uh, this Mythbusters is, is that we've had a few comments of people saying that we should do Hawks versus Hornets and see if the upgrade thing is really worth it or if it doesn't do uh, that much of an improvement. Oh shit, it right, is a rubber base. Thanks, yeah it is. I'm throwing a, a disruption bomb at it. it yeah, that will do a lot. Oh, piss them off. Spartans just to kill them. You know, the effect of the disruption bomb, like hitting it and the little explosion coming out, is actually really cool. I remember when the game first came out, and I was like, what the hell is this? I thought it was like to do something where it would affect their shields or something. I don't know what I was doing. Ready to roll. Turret complete. <clears throat> anyway, so we're on the map Chasms, or Chasms, or. All <laughs> units. Asms. Whatever. <laughs> um, so, you're gonna make a bunch of hawks, I'm gonna make a bunch of hornets, we're gonna send them at each other, but not really a bunch, I guess, we can only have 25. What do you have, my pop cap? Well, all unit. All unit. So, uh, we're gonna, I guess, jump cut like usual to the part where, um, all unit. we start slaughtering each other for no reason. Same. Pretty sure this is another gimme Mythbusters, but we'll see. Give it to him. Okay, they're all attacking that one without me telling it to. <laughs> it's actually pretty interesting that... Have you... You know, I've always realized that... You know, while air units are good for vehicles, or They don't have a Y ability. This is like one of the very few units that don't have a Y ability. Kind of whatever. Thanks. I'll make that one guy in the comments that was like, "No, it is worth it." <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, I kind of thought that was a given. I think the upgrade is obvious, is obviously and honestly worth it because. The upgrade's cheaper than normal super unit upgrades because Forge and Anders uh, both are 1800. Or no, no, I'm sorry, Forge and Cutter, their super unit upgrades are 1800, while Anders is uh, 1350. Which is a very strange number of anything if I've ever heard of it. So if you have the chance and the resources, I think the upgrade is worth it. Uh, it wasn't that close of a Mythbusters, or a battle, I should say. Anyway, uh, that concludes this Mythbusters. Thank you for watching. I'm Andrew, and that's Slash Storm. Yeah, that was kind of an obvious one. Kind of one to cruise by here. There is a playlist of all the Mythbusters stuff we have done, and will do. Oh crap, I just macked myself. Oh, there we go. I'll take that. You got a vulture out. Yeah, thanks. This worthless base of yours is going down. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I didn't know your bases had towers back there. Yeah. Wait, where's the other one? It says your Spartan's like right here, but I don't see it. See, there's there's a crate under that tree. Okay. This isn't Christmas.
I don't have a Spartan over there. Both of my Spartans were in Hawks over there, and the other one was in this tower. But do you see on the shows... mini-map, it shows it, like, over there? Yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. <laughs> it's not possible. I don't and think... I don't know why I didn't get those crates. Like, I sent my Warhog over there, and he just said no. Well, so you get a better side, because you have a tower, and I don't see a tower... Oh, yeah, there is one. Okay, but that doesn't do anything. Like, that tower is on the back end. Yeah, I didn't see this little resource, uh thing over here guarded by rebels in two towers. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. This is the smallest map in the game. I thought Blood Gulch was smaller. Thanks.